Hey, and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. On my last official cooking video, not the last video I uploaded, the last video video I uploaded was actually a Baton Rouge last weekend over there at JB Spring Fling, with it, hanging out with all the other YouTubers. But on my last cooking video, I was using the Mojo Griddle, and in that video I explained that on my next video, cooking video, that I would also be using Mojo Griddle, but this time I would be uh, setting it up on a on a burner on a propane burner and i have it set up right here in front of me it's sitting on a dual jet bayou classic burner and uh i actually have already done the cook finished the cook i'm at the tail end of it and i'm, I'm really glad i've done that because i'm more excited about it i've already tasted this stuff and it, oh god it's excellent my family's still in there chowing down right now loving every minute of it and what i did is i went to the pirate johnny's website and I extracted a, a recipe off of their website for the uh, Cuban Mojo seasoning that they sent me here a while back. And uh, that's what I picked out was the Miami Cuban Mojo steak. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm going to twist this up. I got a lot of people to feed here. We got my wife's daughter, her husband, granddaughters, the whole bunch over here. So uh, I decided to make fajitas instead. What a perfect thing to do it on. So... Anyway, I took some chopped up beef, I took the Cuban Mojo seasoning, followed their directions for the steak, followed everything to a T, and the only twist I actually made to it is that instead of eating it in a steak form, you're actually eating it in a tortilla along with some onions and bell pepper. And I'm here to tell you it rock, and this Mojo griddle rock. So let's go ahead and get started and let me show you the footage from what I recorded earlier. And uh, I'm telling you, you need to check out both of these products. They're excellent. This Mojo griddle. Phenomenal. All right, to get started, we're going to add in one half cup of good extra virgin olive oil. All right, I've got three cloves of garlic I'm putting into my olive oil. The olive oil is sitting at a medium heat. I'm going to bring this up to just a little bit of a simmer probably around three minutes just to extract the flavors out of this this garlic you don't really want to brown it all right looks like we're pretty much there we've been going about three minutes i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off the heat and we're gonna let this cool down to room temperature and from there we're gonna put the marinade together for the beef all right now into a bowl you want to add in one third cup of water just plain old tap water will work now into that we're going to be adding in this Pirate Johnny's Cuban Mojo seasoning. This stuff smells incredible. Now the recipe calls for six tablespoons. All right, now I'm going to take a fork. I'm just going to mix this in really, really good. Just like you see me doing here. All right, I'm pouring in the olive oil and the garlic that I did earlier. It's completely cooled down to room temperature. Just simply going to pour it in. And from here, I'm going to give it a good mix. Now, this is the marinade that we're going to put in with the beef. We're going to let it hang out in the refrigerator for roughly two hours. Okay, here is the meat that I purchased earlier. It's called carne piccata. I looked that up to find out what the meaning was. And basically, it's minced meat. Or in this case, it's more of a chopped meat. And it's used in tacos, fajitas, and things like that. And I asked the butcher there at the store what it was. And basically, he told me it was uh, the trimmings, you know, from steak, roast, and, and things like that from beef. And uh, they sell that all by itself just for things like I'm doing today and it ought to be full of all kind of flavor coming from different cuts of beef you know so at any rate you take your marinade you simply just want to pour all that into the ziplock bag just like I'm doing here we're going to seal it up we're going to mix it all around real good and from there like I said we're just going to let it hang out in the refrigerator and uh, let it hang out for at least a good two hours all right, first thing, if you watched my last video, then you know that I'm going to do this cook with a propane burner. This is a Bayou Classic double jet burner. All right, I had this thing choked way down. That's why you're seeing the orange flame and not the blue. Let's go over here. All right, so I can adjust it up and get all the blue you want, but the problem is that's just too hot. 
All right, I'm 447 degrees to center. And it says I back it off just a little bit. It drops down quite a bit. All right, so we have an extreme hot area. Not so hot here. So that's ideal for cooking, in my opinion. You can see it right here in the middle. Bring it off a little bit to the side. If you just want to keep it warm, drag it over here. All right, let's get going. All right, I got onions and bell peppers that I just threw on top of the mojo griddle. Just gonna saute them up. I salt and peppered them. And that's all the seasoning I'm adding as of right now. All right, these onions, bell peppers are not quite where I want them, but I got them over here on the cooler side. All right, here we go. Here comes the beef. Spread this out, make it into a layer, a single layer. Oh, it's smelling incredible. All right, now what I want to do at this point, I never did salt it. You can add the salt into the marinade as well. I always prefer to salt it as I'm cooking it. So I can kind of get a feel of how much I got going in there. Maybe just a tad more. I'm using sea salt. All right, that should be plenty. I'm gonna taste some cracked black pepper. It smells incredible, people. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, now what I'm gonna do at this point is take these peppers and onions and put them back over here in the center along with the meat. We're going to pick up some of that seasoning, some of that Cuban Mojo seasoning that I just marinated the meat in. And by the way, I went two hours as it calls for for the meat. Oh, this is going to rock, y'all. Alright, I don't lack a whole lot from this being done. So the last thing you want to do, now you can also put this in your marinade as it's marinating but i elected to do it right here at the end kind of like you would do parsley i've got cilantro in this mill here this is like a parsley mill and we're simply just going to take put it all through this meat here all right you end up with probably about a tablespoon and a half two tablespoons of cilantro Cilantro can be very overpowering at times. It's a real pungent herb, so you don't want to overdo it. Just enough to give it that little kick there. That should be fine, just like it is. All right, we're going to toss and mix that all in. It smells incredible, people. Right, I'm just going to transfer all of this into this this uh, pan here. Gonna wrap it up with some foil to keep it warm. We'll be back in a few minutes. We're gonna pop some tortillas on here and just get them heated through real good. All right, we're just gonna lay some tortillas on here. Start getting them heated through. That's all we want. All right, so let's go ahead and put one of these bad boys together here. Oh man, these smell incredible. All right, we're going to take a taste and see what we got here. Here we go.
Mmm. Mmm. Yes, sir. Mmm. That's absolutely delicious. That Cuban Mojo seasoning is incredible. I can't think of a better product to cook these on than this right here, this Mojo Griddle. Y'all check them both out. Absolutely incredible. This is good anytime, but especially at a party. Can you imagine having lots and lots of this put together and just having all your friends around and putting something like this together? Believe me, they're going to enjoy this. Until next time, smoke your ribs.